Okay, everybody, let's look at a new piece that we have in the shop. This is a Thomasville piece. It is not an antique. It has that feel, but it is not. It's in pretty rough shape. We're gonna see if we can give it a new look and a new life. It is an entertainment center. So these drawers pull out. They release down for your video equipment or what have you. Kind of cool. It's pretty gross. Needs a really, really good cleaning. It's gotten wet at some point and the the substrate is a particle board under here. So we're gonna have to do something about that top. Um, the rest of the piece is solid wood, but the top is not pretty bad. But we love a challenge. Let's see if we can make it look pretty again. Alex is gonna remove the top for us. I got a crowbar. I got hammers. I got a crowbar. It's gonna happen. There's more screws. I have no patience for this. I know. Hold it. All right, so we got the top off. And now what we can do is get in here and remove, remove this part from the frame part. This was in the warehouse upside down. Quite obvious the way that the nastiness is, that it was upside down. Water was on the floor, the top set on the floor. Yeah. Now that we've got this piece all cleaned and it's dried, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sand the areas that are gonna be painted, which is pretty much all of it. So um, I'm gonna do this by hand sanding. And the reason I'm doing that is that the material on this piece is very thin and I don't wanna burn through it. And what I'm sanding with is just some 100 grit sandpaper. And I've just torn it and then just fold it over. And that way it'll help me get into those small areas. And we're just doing a scuff sand so that um, your primer and your paint has something to grip hold of, taking away any shiny areas. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to cut a new top for the entertainment center. So we're out here with Alex, he's done the measurements and he's going to rough cut the long cut and then take it in and tidy it up on the table saw. And I am just here for physical support. Now you might be wondering why did they cut that outside if they've got a woodworking shop and a paint shop? The reason is it's MDF. And if you are working with MDF, you want to use caution. Breathing MDF in can be quite dangerous. So we like to do it outside rather than do it in the shop, um, if possible. Sometimes that's not possible. And we do have dust collection, but it's not always, it, it's very, very dusty. So we do it outside. If you are gonna do this at home, be sure that you wear a mask, try to do it outside if you can. If not, be sure that you've got a, a mask with a really good filter on it. So we've brought out a couple of profiles and this is the piece that came off of the entertainment center. And we're gonna try and decide which one matches the best to this profile. So we're down to two. Either one of these will work, but I think I'm favoring this. All right, once you get your router set up, get your practice board and then do a practice run. The way that these work, you're gonna want to go against the blade, not with the blade. Now that we've got our practice board done, we're ready to start. Be sure you got your safety mask on, glasses. Let's get started.
once you're done with all the routering you're going to want to take some sandpaper and give those edges a bit of a sand just to take off the the really rough parts and the sharp sharp edges i've just got a 220 and just giving it a bit of a sand and then be sure that you wipe it down before you take it into your shop or you're going to have dust all in your shop okay so we got the new top put on this and what i've done is i've gone through and i've rolled on a layer of primer that's tinted gray i knew that this top was going to need a lot more primer than the drawers and body of this piece so i wanted to go ahead and get a head start on that um, and then i've just sanded it back and then we're going to prime it again when we prime the whole piece I was having some difficulty getting the drawers to go in and I realized that when I cleaned the piece I did not wax the drawer runners so we're going to do that now and what I do is I use this Minwax um, paste finishing wax and it works absolutely like a dream. The drawers will go so smooth and it just conditions those drawer runners real well. So I'm just going through and doing that and since I started doing that those drawers just glide in like butter now we've got everything primed we're ready to put some paint on this i think we're going to go with a classic black i think it'll look good on the piece um it is not an antique piece by any stretch um and that way it can be quite neutral but a grounding piece in a room so let's get started get some paint on this we also have the the knobs all primed up and ready to be painted we're going to paint those as well so i'm going to get started and we'll get some color on this The knobs for, are not going on properly. So what we're gonna have to do is redrill the holes and put new screws in because they're stripped out. So what I've done is I've mixed up a two-part epoxy and I'm gonna use some of that and a little bit of wood shavings and mix those together. The wood will let us then re-drill the holes and it'll be just like wood again. So that's why we're using the, the sanding dust with it rather than just putting epoxy in. And this will be really, really strong. Okay, just going to fill that. Kind of looks like peanut butter. And we'll just let this set up overnight and then tomorrow we'll be able to drill the hole again and it won't be stripped out and we can get these last two knobs on. Now let's take a look at what it looked like before. Okay, we have finally finished this piece. It looks fantastic. I'm very happy with the way the top turned out, the way that the router just carries on with the moldings all down the piece. It looks really nice. It looks like it's always been there even though we had to replace the top. I absolutely think that this is such a great feature and somebody's gonna find this really useful for their entertainment center. It really makes a great dresser as well. It's a nice piece by Thomasville. Lots of drawer space. And down here, some really nice, nice size drawers, rather deep. It's good storage. Looks fantastic. We went black. It'll be a good anchor piece in any room. Let me know in the comments what you think, and we will see you on the next project.